Hello, all wonderful people out there. This is Kevin from Caesar Pipe here, where we focus on productivity and pipeline for creatives. And it's been a little while, but here's a brand new video for you all. And today we'll be looking at object styles in InDesign. And I'll show you how to go from something like this to this uh, with just two style clicks. And as always, if you only want the how to, you can use the chapters to jump straight in. But for the rest, let's talk briefly about what and why. So if you have a bit of experience with using InDesign, you probably both know and use paragraph and character styles. However, there is a third style type that I feel isn't quite as appreciated as it should be. And that's object styles, a really powerful feature which lets you format text or graphics frames with one click and you can include color effects, text options, paragraph styles, position, just to mention a few. So when should we use this? Well, a great use case is when making templates or anything that you will be making many times. Say you're making something where every page follows the same structure, but with different information and images. That's a perfect use case for object styles. So like I kind of hinted at, there is a lot you can do with object styles. So I won't be showing every single nook and cranny, but I thought I'd show some of my favorite features and use cases. Uh, and I'll be doing this using some retail signage. Here I have the document we will be working with, and this is what we want to end up with. And we want one object style for the price box and for one for the image. And first of all, we need to locate the panel and that is found under window, then styles, and then object styles. Then click here to create a new object style. And this one we will call price box. And let's also apply it so that we can see what we're doing live. Next, we double click the style and now we get this rather massive list of features available to us. And uh, just like with paragraph styles, we all have these, uh, we will have these different attributes and you click on them and then get the settings. And a lot of these should also be familiar from other places in InDesign, by the way. And also notice the checkbox to the left of the attribute. If it is checked, it's activated and otherwise it is not. And uh, using fill here as an example, it being unchecked does not mean that the box can't have a fill, it just means that the object style won't pay attention to that. And I like to start my object styles by unchecking everything here, and uh, I'm going to speed that up. So uh, there we go. Now we can start setting up our price box and maybe start with the aesthetics. Okay, number one, I want a fill, and uh, that's right here. And I want it to be black and we'll set the tint to 20%. And then I want a corner effect, which we'll find right here. And I thought a beveled edge in one corner could be cool. So we'll unlock this and then maybe type in eight millimeters. And uh, lastly, I want a bit of a noise effect. And uh, this is a neat trick that I learned uh, and using inner glow down here. So first we're going to select fill right here so that we don't affect the text in the box. And then under in the glow, we want to drag up noise to the max. Then we choose source center and uh, size can be zero. And now we can just lower the opacity and uh, maybe to about 20%. Now let's make this price box a bit smarter. And I want to tell it where to go how to position the text and which paragraph styles to use and make it adapt the size according to the contents. And believe it or not, all this can be done with the same object style. So number four, for the size and position, we go over here and uh, we set a size to width only because the height we will set to adapt to the content. And uh, this will be 80 millimeters. And then position, here I want both X and Y so I want to set my reference point to the middle left and uh, middle because I want to center it on the page regardless of the size. And in this case, that will be X 110 millimeters and Y 105. And we can also see that the box has moved on the page as long as we have the preview activated. Text frame general options is where we will make the text align to the vertical center and the option being right here. And while I'm here, I'll also set up some inset. 10 millimeters will do fine. And then let's see, number six, we are starting to get there. Now comes the very cool part of making the text box adapt to its content. 
and that we will do under text frame auto size options. And in this case, choose height only and mid placement. And if you want, you can set a minimum size. Uh, I'll set it to 60 millimeters, meaning it can't go lower than 60. Now, all that remains is to get the correct paragraph styles. And there is an attribute here called just that. So first comes the price style. So we select that. However, for this to work, we need to take advantage of the next style feature in the paragraph styles. So let's press OK here. And now we go look at the paragraph style here called price. And under the general tab, you can see that the next style is set to brand. And brand in turn has product as its next style. And this is necessary for this to work with our object style. So if we now go back to our object style and uh, let's see the uh, paragraph style attribute. Now we just check the apply next style and uh, look at what happens with the text. The first style is applied and then after the paragraph break, it applies the next, pretty amazing. And uh, that's our text box. And just to demonstrate it, if I now type something more in this text box, you can see that it expands accordingly and it does so aligned to the vertical center. Now what remains is the pack shot and uh, this will be a lot simpler. We want position, size and frame fitting. And to make it easy for us, I'm going to pre-place the image correctly, like so. And uh, then create a new object style, of course. We can call it pack shot and we can apply it and then open it. And once again, it's kind of stupid that so much is pre-checked, so I'll fix that. There we go. Now we just do what we did earlier. We go to size and position, and this time height and width. And since we pre-place the image, it should apply the right size automatically. And the same thing applies for position. We go X and Y and the placing should be correct. And uh, lastly, we want to tell InDesign how to fit the image in the box. And uh, that we do under frame fitting options. And I don't want the pack shot cropped or warped. So fit content proportionally will be the pick here. And uh, that's it. And just to demonstrate it as well, if I mess up this image frame a bit, uh, just a second. There we go, something like that. Now by applying the pack shot object style, it should jump straight back into place, which it does. Very neat. Then if you start to combine this with say data merge or smart text reflow, which I have tutorials on, uh, which will be on screen, you could start making these for hundreds of products without much manual labor once everything is set up. And that was all I had for this time, and uh, obviously plenty more available from object styles, but that was probably most of the features that I tend to use, and I uh, hope you find it helpful and perhaps a bit fun to work with as well. Uh, once you set it up, I think it feels amazing to format things so smoothly. Thank you so much for watching and uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It helps me out a lot. And also if you have any productivity questions or suggestions for future videos, make sure to throw those in the comments below. Once again, thank you and until next time, have a good one.